I'm starting Germany camp. I'm starting campaign for Germany in 1936. And so I'm gonna try and win over Europe here. And this is how our troops will look like in 1936. We have a couple of tank divisions, I suppose. I'm not sure just how many. This isn't uh, a mod, this is the original version of the game. I'm going to add some manpower. Just so that I would be a little bit more competitive. And uh, let's start. First of all, I'm going to see if I can allocate some... Uh, more um, leadership exactly where I need to so I see if uh, there are enough spies out there doing work and I see that even if there are a lot of spies in various countries there aren't um, that uh, many who are prioritized to do anything so as you can see the priority bars are empty so I increased counter espionage support for the ruling party raising national unity and I'm gonna keep everybody here in Germany and uh, I'm gonna make quite a few of these spies at the beginning and I probably won't have to do this ever again create maybe a hundred spies and they'll be able to do the job very well in the home country. After that, we're gonna focus a lot on research. So, um, that is increasing the fightness. A very early research right there, night vision. It won't be a quick. Uh, a quick tech but um, if we're gonna get it a couple of years earlier it's going to be worth it because if I'm sure it has like 10% infantry night attack 10% that is a lot in uh, in a whole uh, kind of um, circle of things uh, these kind of things are very important so, assault weapons, I'm just checking, this would give us some urban attack, some forest attack, some jungle attack, that is good. These doctrines are sort of new weapons to fight in various environments is good. We're gonna go for a medium tank, so we just need to upgrade, upgrade these to level 2, which is this tech right there. Then we have a lot of these anti-tank, anti-aircraft support units. And um, I either should choose to go for some artillery, which would add soft attack and some defensiveness. Or for rocket artillery, but I decided to go for just some regular artillery there. Won't invest anything into ships whatsoever. Now, when it comes to these bombers, we're gonna build a few and then we're just gonna try to keep everything up to date, and that's it. So, I'm thinking about some tactical bombers and then some. Maybe attack for the medium bombs, and that's it. Multi role fighter development that sounds great. Industry 
We have to invest in industry. Leadership with light education. Casual to trigger back. And as you can see, we have still plenty left. We're gonna inscript our communications. Make them <clears throat> work a little bit harder. Nuclear research. We'll have to wait for that. Supply production. This will <clears throat> give us more IC. And we'll leave this for now to see how things develop uh, in the future. Now these would give us some more benefits right there. Supply is an important thing. Because everything can end up being slowed down. And this is why we're going to research pretty much everything. If we're going to get at least some of these done, then uh, things will work out perfectly. Now I'm just thinking, will I be building some mechanized units actually? I probably wouldn't. So I won't research any of these, but I'm definitely going for the tanks. And here, some infantry technologies. And um, some overall plus 2% ambush, shock, delay between attacks. And that's it, that is a lot of leadership to go around. And everything else can just kind of be where it is, and it's fine. Great. Now I'm uh, turning off all this. We go into consumer goods. And uh, we turn off supply production. So that we could uh, allocate more resources to building units. And um, everything that's left should go into production. We're gonna do the upgrades later when the time comes. As you can see, we can build some Waffenesses units. How much better they are. They currently are not that better than any other infantry brigade but it seems that uh, they are less soft so that means that they do have some kind of a equipment uh, that can do some more maybe piercing attacks. No, it seems that currently infantry and Waffen SS who are just more specialized units or should be more specialized units are no better than regular infantry. For some reason that's the way it is. But um, I'm sure with the technology this will change with upgraded technology. Now, what we what I want to do is I want to give everybody a artillery regiment or maybe I should connect all of these brigades into very powerful ones that would consist of four units of uh, infantry and this is what I'm gonna do I never tried this before and um, I will have a very powerful set of these
units. That would uh, do a great deal of damage. And uh, when we'll see them, we'll know that they were from the first armies that we had in uh, 1936. The next thing I'm doing is I'm uh, allowing the AI to deal with my diplomacy. And I would just want to alter my trade. Exchange. Italy is offering a trade agreement. We would give them money for rare materials. Okay. And we would give them money in exchange for rare materials. Fine. I'm gonna add some money just so that I could uh, play with these deals. Now, what can we change? There's a war economy going on. A mixed industry that would give me plus 15 efficiency for production. So I'm gonna go with that. Obviously, it would give me a lot more. That supplies consumer goods consumer goods supply throughout but it's good but at the same time when the nation requires a lot more consumer goods too but uh, the production should be <clears throat> more efficient at the same time so it should equal itself out. Now I'm waiting for more spies. I just realized I shouldn't be doing that because now they'll put me start to influence things. What else? Three year draft, okay. Let's go with a three year draft. As you can see the spies are starting to show up. That's awesome. I can now transfer all the leadership where it has to be. Now, at the same time, I should issue some of these production orders. And um, I'm going to build myself a few of these Waffen SS units. Just because they're out there. And um, yeah, that's gonna be a standard Waffen SS division, which is three Waffen SS units with some artillery. It seems that I can only build a couple of these. I do wonder if they are capped. They are probably capped to just so many divisions, which is fine. And this is a standard. And um, we're gonna go with a few of these for now. As you can see, the production bar is full. Now, I just need to wait until all of my troops run to one province so that I could reorganize everybody. First things first, I need to move all of my headquarters. regiments out of the province and then 
I'll start reorganizing. The other thing I've uh, come up with is that I'm not going to accept Japan into the Axis because I don't want to see the other part of the map that um, we just put the drag on my computer and wouldn't give me any real benefit now as you can see I have two divisions right here that are very capable in here it's fine the tank battalion needs to move out the SS as you can see they look a little different needs to move out too and um, everybody else I'm just going to separate them so that um, I could more easily do some reorganization 22 units there and so the first batch should be completed there now it looks like technologies are finishing too there are a couple of units that can already be merged so this may take a little while but um, I'm sure that it's worth it I should probably move everybody else to simply to Berlin and anything that's left could um, just um, be used for more mixing up now these guys created a standard division there and I'm just sending some marsh ropes here now once again I'm increasing the size of my troops and sending the excess troops to Berlin from where they're gonna be sent somewhere else finally what about Lithuania we would give them some energy for money fine have all that money I only have three tank divisions here and not so many divisions are left for some more reorganization so we'll soon going to be finished then I'll have to look if there are any really really good generals who should be promoted I'm gonna give him another division instead of that artillery piece I think has advanced 
Okay, awesome. Now for some more. All right, these are the last divisions. We have nationalized and private sector. Oh, look at that, the descent. The descent is just huge. All right, I have to watch that because it's very important. And we're going to build some more divisions and we're not going to worry much about anything else. So, our army is uh, very concentrated now because we have so many troops into our uh, divisions, which are pretty much capped. And that's it. These troops here. should just go on a boat, I would say, but <clears throat> it's unclear if we even have transports. I don't think that we do. Well, I'm not sure how they got the troops there in the first place, but they obviously did it somehow. And these guys will just stay here for the time being until we're gonna get them a better commander. Now, as you can see, these level 5 generals or so, they, they are really, really tough commanders. I'm not even sure if we have that many commanders. I'm gonna take out the level 4 ones. And leave all the level 3 ones. Level 4 ones can uh, also command armies, probably. That would be a little bit better. An army corps, that's great. This leader wasn't that efficient. And that's it. So, in here, we need to choose a commander with uh, this kind of a skill. That would give us some more benefits. I'll go with a level 2. Not that it matters really, because some of the, these divisions will have to be filled with these kind of units anyway okay army corps now this is a very important position that I'm gonna give to Monstein these troops here can be level 4 easy yeah, let's... No, they should should have even a better position than that, actually. That's it. I should be keeping good, very good generals on... Uh, on a division level, because this is where all the fighting is but um, because this is the beginning I'll just do some uh, changes okay now I can finally increase some of my troops in rank and um, I leave these guys as army commanders level 4 ones and uh, level 2 ones can be corps commanders and everybody else 
I think that they should um, fight in the divisions. And um, they should keep things going. As you can see, some of them had to be demoted. Well, that's going to be a lot of corps commanders, but um, it'll do. Okay, I think that's enough. And uh, that's it. I need to lower the rank of quite a few. Just so the things would even out. 